In this short video, I want to show you how to create an item bank. An item bank can be used to randomly select questions for an assessment, for example. Um, we will be going to the resources area of Schoology. So from your um, main page or your courses tile page, you'll click on resources. Um, this is a great place to, to store things from year to year. So you'll notice in the past when I was still in the classroom, um, I have all of the full files for my um, Honors German 3 class, German 2, AP German, um, et cetera here. Um, but this is where you go to create an item bank. So up here at the top of your screen, you see add resources. We're going to go down just a little ways and you're going to see things that you would typically see in your course, like add assignment, add assessment, add test quiz. Um, but what you don't typically see in your course area is add item bank. And this is where we're going to do that. So I'm going to click um, add an item bank and I'm going to name that. For example, I might make this unit one and I hit create. When I do that, you see over here to the side, a create items area with all of the different question types that we have explored now between the Schoology Assessments Part 1 with the standard questions and now Schoology Assessments Part 2 with the enhanced questions. Uh, the only thing that you see here that's extra are the math specific, which is a separate Schoology workshop. Um, but you see all the different question types that you can choose in an assessment. And it's as simple as you learn how to do in making a regular assessment. So if I wanna add some multiple choice questions, I simply click multiple choice. I'm going to have my same question setup area, my options, doing my correct answer, clicking save and adding it to my item bank. Um, so you can add as many questions as you want. Any of the types of questions that we can put into any assessment, we add to our item bank here. Thing to note, um, unfortunately, Currently, you cannot create an assessment in your course and then create an item bank from those assessments. This is um, ideally what I would have liked to have done. If I had made five vocabulary quizzes, for example, in a unit, in a course, then I might have won might wanted to add all of those to an item bank as a review area, along with maybe um, some grammar activities and things like that. Um, but unfortunately, you have to start here in your resources area, create the item bank, add all of the options to the item bank, and then you can use this item bank, which we'll see in the second video, how to use items from here to make an assessment or activity for your students. Schoology does say it's on the roadmap to be able to reverse that process and have the assessment made first and then add those items to an item bank, um, but we're not there yet. So just so you know. Uh, so creating an item bank, super simple. I just add any type of question that is available in the assessment tool um, from this left-hand side, create my questions just like you learned to do in um, earlier in this workshop or in the first Schoology Assessments Part 1 workshop. Uh, once you're in here, you can edit the name and add a description, um, but these will be stored then in your resources area and here I can see my unit one um, item bank, which is currently empty. Um, and that's all you do to create an item bank in Schoology. But the important thing to note is that it is in your resources area and not within a course.